I think everybody sort of realizes the reason that we're here, and um, I think that I, I'd like to do this, you know, to honor the these young men for the great job that they have done and how they, you know, represented the University of Alabama, uh, their family. Um, they've, they've all been great people in terms of how they've represented our organization. I don't think either one of these guys have ever been in my office in the, the whole time that they've been here for not doing the right thing. Um, so from a, a personal character standpoint, uh, the, these guys have been great representatives and great ambassadors for the University of Alabama. Uh, we really appreciate that. You know, both guys have done extremely well academically. Uh, one of the issues always when you're talking about is a guy going to go out to the NFL draft um, is he going to be able to graduate? Uh, and I always tell the players that someday somebody's going to tell you you can't play football anymore and it's not going to be your choice. And the one thing that is going to affect that is the fact that you developed a career outside of athletics by graduating from school. So these guys have heard this speech before. And both of these guys are very close to graduation. Eddie less than one semester, Dee less than two. Uh, so in both, and they have made promises that to me, uh, that they're going to get their education, and that's why they came here. Uh, that's a goal of our program, uh, and we certainly want them to do that. One other note here, uh, I'm not sure whether this has been announced officially, and I'm not sure that I even should be announcing it, uh, but, you know, DJ Fluker could not be here today, uh, but I, he's going to enter the draft as well. You know, he's done an extremely effective job in terms of his development as a player here, the improvement that he's made. Um, he's sort of totally supportive of the decision that he's made. We're especially proud, proud of the fact that he's been here for four years too and he has graduated. Um, so, you know, we, we wish DJ the very best as well. Uh, you know, DJ is a really, really hard worker. I think DJ's uh, a guy that really wants to please the coach. Uh, I think he really works hard to do the things the way you would like him to do them personally, academically, uh, and athletically. I'm very, very proud of you know what DJ's been able to accomplish in his career here. Uh, you know, I remember when we recruited him, he was really overweight. He lost a lot of weight. He got himself in shape. We actually had to redshirt him for a year. Uh, and then he became a very productive player, and he's worked hard to overcome the deficiencies that he's had as a player in terms of his quickness, his pass protection, those types of things, and done a much, much better job at that. And uh, I certainly feel like you know this year has been his best year as a player, uh, and I feel like uh, you know he's made a good decision about what he wants to do, uh, and we're very, very supportive of him. Well, you know, I, I think that there's a lot of information out there that may may or may not be correct, you know, in terms of where guys get sort of ranked, you know, in the draft. Uh, I think what we're able to do for our players here is, uh, because of the relationships that we have with NFL teams, is uh, we get specific information from the teams relative to uh, what their draft status really is. have some other guys. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm hopeful that we're, we're pretty much finished with this, but I've been doing this long enough to know that every now and then you get surprised, you know, by someone. Um, you know, you've been around this long enough to know that that's happened on occasion. Most of those kinds of decisions get made based on emotion uh, and not probably the kind of business decisions that you'd like. Uh, hopefully the way we manage our guys here and try to be helpful to get them the information that they need here, uh, that might not be the case. But in some cases where guys have already graduated, uh, there's always some concern as to whether they really want to come back and play their fifth year. Uh, I, I do think that uh, in Eddie's case, you know, we talked about this at great lengths. Durability is, you know, always a factor, a big factor for running backs. And, you know, there's two ways to look at it. 
you know, you can come back and say, I'm going to prove that I can be durable by having a great season and playing, you know, 12, 13, 14 games without ever having an issue or a problem, and that may enhance my draft status. I, or I could say that uh, I have certainly had some durability issues to some degree, but I've also been a very, very, very productive player uh, in my career here, and I only have so many years that I can play, so maybe at my position where durability is such a factor, it might be more beneficial for me being a really solid high draft pick to go ahead and do what I'm doing. And, and in Eddie's case, Eddie and I talked about this with his family, went back and forth on it, and what I told him basically is, you know, I love you, I want you to stay, uh, you're a great part of our team, you're a great player, but on the other hand, I understand exactly what your circumstance is relative <coughs> to your personal situation as well as, um, you know, the reputation you have as a football player, uh, where you're ranked in the draft, how it could affect your draft 